Hello, Auggies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. Today's question comes from Jeff, KB0IOH. He says he has some friends with what he calls legacy amplifiers. By legacy, he means they have tubes in them instead of transistors. There are a lot of amplifiers around with tubes. The transition from tubes to transistors is being made as we speak, but transistor amplifiers for power amplifiers are more expensive than tube amplifiers at this point. So tube amplifiers are still being uh, chosen and used. Now, the question has to do with this. He's working in a traffic net and the traffic net is on one given frequency on HF. People are talking to each other. If somebody has to pass traffic, net control will tell them to move about five kilohertz. Okay, move about five kilohertz, do your traffic, and then come back and rejoin the net when that's all done. Now his question is, if he's transmitting five kilohertz away, is that gonna hurt me in my house? The answer, no, no, not at all. You'd have to be adjacent to him or something like that. Um, if you, uh, change it the other question is this if he tunes by only five kilohertz is he going to have to retune the antenna well the answer generally not uh, you will find that uh, a tube amplifier for five kilohertz is pretty supportive it's not that high q a device and uh, it will work uh, pretty well if you just go five kilohertz now, I'd make sure that, I'd try it, I'd do some experiments, um, do some transmitting on a certain frequency, change by five kilohertz and recheck your SWR. I think you will find that the SWR will be slightly higher, but not enough higher to worry about. If you can keep the SWR under about two to one, or better yet, under about 1.6 to one, as you do your work with the amplifier, you'll be in very good shape. Now he points out that tubes are a little expensive. The amplifier, uh, power amplifier tubes, they are. What has happened is that major tube manufacturers like iMac uh, have moved away from, um, from um, amateur radio uh, tubes. Uh, they go for the great big many thousands of dollar power tubes that are used by broadcast and television stations and so on. So the amateur radio division isn't bringing in that much money. So um, there is a new company that DX Engineering is uh, partnering with to uh, bring tubes for these amplifiers, but they still can be very expensive. We're talking over $1,000 in some cases here. Treat the tubes nicely. In other words, don't run them at high SWR and so on. So do some experiments to see how far off frequency you go before your SWR becomes unacceptable. So there you have it. If you have um, a desire to support this station financially and enable us to keep bringing you these videos, uh, please do so. Go to decastlercom slash support. Also, you can go to decastlercom slash giveaway to find out about our latest giveaway. So until we next meet, 73.